everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and welcome back to another episode of Toy Talk, and Max is joining me today. Hi, guys. And the first couple of pictures I'm going to go over is Build-A-Bear news. Different Build-A-Bears that are out or coming out soon that look extremely adorable. There's the Palace Pets. They've had Palace Pets before, but I think these are new ones. Yeah, they look really cute. And then there's this rainbow leopard. I love the rainbow colors with the print. And this one is one of my favorites. The rainbow zebra with the black stripes looks awesome. So cute and colorful. It reminds me of like Lisa Frank. And then we have this adorable bear with a little candy heart. And I really like this puppy. I think it looks super cute. I think it's the big eyes. <laughs> and with the hoodie. So cute. And here's how it looks without any clothes on. Still very, very cute. And they have this red monkey. For year of the monkey. Yeah, I think the design on this is really cool. The swirls in the ears and everything. And the red color. And then check out this sloth. <laughs> He's so cute. It looks like he might be able to um, stick his hands and feet together. Yeah, you can see in this picture, he has some Velcro on his paws and feet. This is a Super Bowl bear. Yeah, that's pretty cool that they made a special Super Bowl bear for the 50th Super Bowl. You would like that, Max, huh? Yeah. You like football. I like to watch football, too. And then we have this chocolate brown bear. That's a web exclusive, that one. Oh, he looks extra fluffy and soft. It's really cute. And this one, I definitely want. It's a woolly mammoth! It's so cool! And these are some pictures we actually took because they sent, um, like, a flyer in the mail with new upcoming Build-A-Bears. And we took these pictures off the actual flyer with our phone. There's this Wonder Woman bear. I think it looks amazing. I love the stars on the face. And then big news, they're going to have Care Bears at Build-A-Bear, which I think is an awesome idea. Yeah. I want them. So cute. I hope they get to make Care Bear Cousins. I've always liked the Care Bear Cousins. Yeah, that would be really cool too. So they have these have to be successful to get that far. <laughs> yeah. I think they started out with, like, the two most popular Care Bears, other than, like, I think Grumpy Bear is pretty popular, too. So now, moving into some movie news. Because we're big um, Disney, Marvel, uh, we love animated films, and then we love the superhero genre. Yes. So we're just going to talk about some movies. Come, It's 2016 now, some movies that are... I'm not sure if this will make 2016, but... They're, we're going to be talking a lot about these movies this year. Yep. So, Doctor Strange. I don't know much about Doctor Strange, honestly. Um, I haven't followed him too much, but uh, Cumberbatch. Benedict gonna, Cumberbatch, which I like love We like that, that actor, actor yeah. so high hopes for Doctor Strange. Finding Dory. Uh... The trailers already look so good. I can't wait for the movie. Uh, Finding Nemo is one of our favorite Pixar. So I, I'm really excited. And they took a long time for the sequel. So they're really going to... I think they're really going to do it right. It's just not going to be a... It's going to be Toy Story quality, I think. Yeah. The sequels to Toy Story were always good, too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Especially since the last one we saw was The Good Dinosaur. And we personally didn't like it that much. I liked it. But it's not. I, I didn't like it. Okay, I'll just say that I didn't like it. I guess Bax liked it. 
Anyway, and moving on to Zootopia, which is another one that I'm really looking forward to. The trailers look so good. And yeah. I, I'm just really looking forward to I haven't even watched the trailer yet. Oh, really? Mm-mm. I have. And then we have Mona. I believe that's how you say it. Or... How, how did you say it before? Moana? I'm not sure. Moana? Mona? It looks... The the vibrancy in this picture mm -hmm. it looks like they're really make upping uh, the quality. Yeah. Not that it was bad before, but look how bright and colorful this looks. It's I, I'm really hoping it's a another amazing Pixar movie. Yeah. yeah. I am looking... It's so interesting. Another picture from it. To have like a concept art design here. Looks like it's going to be a fun movie to watch. We might be covering some animated movies on this channel this year too. Yeah. Like up to the release. Some more info if you like that. On Toy Talk. Now this, definitely excited about. It's Rogue, one of the first images from Rogue One. The next Star Wars movie, and this will be out December 2016, so right before right before the end of the year. And uh, it's it's a, it's a standalone Star Wars movie. It's not a sequel to Force Awakens. Yeah, it's not an episode like the trilogies or a continuation of uh, the Force Awakens. It's supposed to be in the timeline before the original trilogy. Oh. The older trilogy. Oh, really? I didn't know that. And they're supposed to be trying to track down the plants to the first Death Star. Oh, that'll be interesting. But if you... So, what could be interesting in this, because it's before the first Star Wars, that may mean Darth Vader might show up. Because he's pretty active before the first Star Wars. Mm. So they might have to deal with Darth Vader. That's cool. I think this is cool too because it's like the first time they haven't done like an episode for Star Wars. So, that's really cool. Next up, um, they, you have some information on this? Yes, we really enjoyed the, Car we've seen all the Chronicles of Narnia movies in the theater. Mm-hmm. And they're, they haven't done bad, but they're in popularity each movie that goes down a little bit and it's been a few years since the last one um they are planning to make another one they're actually they're going ahead with this book the silver chair i think and i heard that they're going to be introducing a new cast so it's gonna be i like the cast so it's a little disappointing but it's still good that they're making another movie yeah so it's been a while. I this really makes me want to read the Chronicles of Narnia again because it's been a while. But this looks interesting. I can't wait to see more pictures how it develops. Well, in it's the this is very early, so yeah. this is not like it's going to be this year. This is just the, I just got the news that they're starting to put together the plan for the movie, new cast. But they, it's good to hear that they're going to do another Chronicles of Narnia movie. Yeah. Then another movie is The Jungle Book, which I'm excited for, too. Uh, now, the trailers... I should have watched the trailer before we did this. <laughs> but I've heard some amazing things about this movie just um, on other YouTube channels talking about it. The, the, the animals, Baloo... I heard it look, look amazing, and it's by uh, John Favreau's directing. I have high hopes for him because I I think he's a very good director. So I can't wait for this movie. Yeah, I saw the trailer. It looked really great. <laughs> okay, and moving on from movies, these next will be new upcoming blind bags or blind bags that have just come out. So, of course, they're going to have Zootopia, and I think all these characters look really awesome. I can't wait 
for the movie, and I can't wait for these mystery minis. Some of these new uh, mystery minis, I like. I cannot wait for. Yeah. Like some of them, in the past. The other. The, I think the reason is, is because they're coming out ahead of some of the fun. Like they're announcing them. Like when they come out together with the Funko Pops, usually the Funko Pops come out first, and then the mystery minis. It's exciting to get the mystery minis at the same time. Yeah. Because we we collect more mystery minis than the, the actual Funko Pop size lately. Yeah. And then we have touched on this before in a different toy talk, but the Disney princesses with the little companions. I think this is a really cute uh, set. And we also have talked about the mystery minis for Five Nights at Freddy's. Still looking for them, excited for them. They look creepy. Uh, these are Titan figures, the the same people that make um, the Sherlock Holmes and the Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go back, there's some the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, Grimer. Mm -hmm. Oh, those those look really cool. Yeah, it's really cute. Mm -hmm. Ghostbusters. Here's what the boxes are going to look like. And next is Harry Potter key rings. These are a closer look than the last time we covered it. Yeah. Actual pictures of what each one is going to look like. Pretty cool. And what the bags are going to look like. Series 1 collector key ring. Which is kind of sad. Alan Rickman, who played Professor Snipe, just passed away. So, it's a good time to get memorabilia for it. And then, what are these? I, I know they're Transformers, but... Uh, new Transformers. These are the Hot Topic exclusive. Is it that... Um... Loyal Subjects. Yeah, here we go the new boxes so I think this is like the third series right now yeah I don't know we did one series we collected but they're pretty expensive yeah so it says more articulation more fun new colors cool looks like they're upping their game and then we have some more key rings it's becoming a very popular thing to do key rings they they come out frequently. It's hard to keep track of what's what series. I think this is the newest series. There might be series five. <laughs> this is series four. Marvel has Howard the Duck. <laughs> uh, I like that um, they have Venom. I think Venom looks cool. Series four. So it might have, some of the stuff might already be out already, but it's just fun to talk about. So keep your eye on things in the stores. And then we have Street Fighter. Backpack hangers. And then some Scooby-Doo uh, little um, collectible figures. I think they look really cool. Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> Uh, these are cute. I like the chibi figures. Mystery inside. Which one will you get? It's cool packaging. We have some Star Wars uh, key rings here. In this picture, there is no Kylo Ren. But there is one on the actual package. So Maybe there's more because there's Boba Fett there too. Let me go back. Yeah. Maybe they don't show all of them. Hopefully. This is some of them. Looks like a good mixture of the original trilogy and then Force Awakens. And then some stuff that you can get at the Disney parks. And Disney Store Online. Mm -hmm. These are... They look kind of like magnets? They're 
pins, I think. Oh, pins. Oh. I love, like, when we went to Disney World, I loved trading and collecting these pins. Makes me want to go back. Force Awaken pins. They have, at Disney World, they have new Force Awaken attractions and stuff. Oh, I want to go. I want to go. They look cool. I like the BB-8 one, especially. And some more pins. These are kind of the classic cool. One. Yeah. yeah. Mystery collection. I would like a box of that. Mm -hmm. It just it's fun to get collect these pins. Oh, another subscription box. Now they're gonna have DC. Legion of Collectors. Is this Funko? Yes. They're really I don't. I don't know. I can't. We, I don't think we could do a third. Yeah. <laughs> we have Star Wars and Marvel. I love DC too, but it's getting too much. Yeah. But, but it I, is I'm cool that they have it. This, this right here, the Superman, the armored Batman, is gonna be exclusive. Yeah, Batman v Superman movie coming out. So. And then we have some Batman figures here. Mystery Minis Arkham Asylum. Mm. I like how Nightwing looks, especially. I think he's out of all of them. Might... Maybe Robin, too. I think they look cool. Uh, these, I think, are Star Wars Mystery Minis. They look cool. Um, I don't see any Force Awakens characters, though. Yeah, that's interesting. So hopefully they are going to come out. I don't even know where I got that one. I can't remember. And some more uh, information about the collector Legion of Collect Legion of Collectors debut box theme Batman vs Superman with the uh, exclusive. Maybe we'll just get that box and not subscribe. Because the Batman v Superman movie is good. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. So, um, going along with um, Blind Bag News, there's the Littles Pet Shop Series 3 Cozy Snackers. They look cute. I like this series, especially because they're in little food. I think it's funny. And then they're going to have the pets in the city putting on the glitz look pretty cool and then the next series of my little pony blind bags wave 15 and I put this in here because I think they're coming out soon so start looking for them yeah I'm interested the boxes kind of start to have the last like three waves of boxes are really looking almost all similar to me with the three ponies in the corner. So you definitely have to pay attention to see if it's the new one. And then the next pictures are going to be Zootopia uh, toys. Toys and plushies. Yeah. Just look through them. These should be at the Disney store. They might be out now. Yeah. They look cool. I like I like the two main characters, the rabbit and the fox. They look so cute. These plushies are so cute. Super cute. I I want the rabbit and the sheep. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. The fox. Oh, this is the there's a new Lion King TV show. Which I'd like to see, but we don't have Disney Channel right now. Uh, I forget what it's called. If you, if you viewers have seen it, comment below if you like it. Kind of mixed in with the Zootopia right now. Yeah. <laughs> we got the cheetah cop. You saw the trailer for Zootopia, didn't you? The sloth, that part was hilarious. He's like super slow and he works at the DMV. <laughs> He's from the new Lauren King show. Yeah. 
I'll have to check that out. I'm interested now. I didn't know there was a new Lion King show. This cheetah looks cool. They all have that mark there. See? Mm -hmm. The little mark. It looks like a lion head. Then we have a spen head. It's a pillow. <laughs> you want that pillow? Um, I don't know. I don't think it's as cute as I would want it to be. What? That's pretty cute. It is, but I don't know. It's just a giant head. <laughs> and this is the the Godfather possum from Zootopia. This part in the trailer seems pretty funny. This bunny looks adorable. And then this bird is gonna be from the Lion King because he's there. It looks cool too. I'm pretty sure this is Timon. And then Stitch! This really suave looking Stitch with a, a kiss mark on his forehead and a rose. And then Angel. It's really cute. The, these two uh, together would be adorable. Um, this is available on Disney Store now. So the Tinkerbell Disney Animator mini doll set. Looks uh, really cute. Should be in store soon or now. Yeah. Here's how the box looks. I wish they did more of the fairies. From yeah. the fairy movies. Yeah, that'd be cool. And then here's a set of three Little Mermaids, Ariel, and Sisters Swimming Water Toy Set. It's pretty cool. And the Duffy Bear. So cute. Lion King Zoom Zooms, they, I think they were came out the Tuesday in January, so... Yeah, but they look cool. I like the Scar one. He looks grumpy. Oh, lots of people have been asking about Series 6 Zelfs. Um, they do exist. I don't know what how they're going to be released. I They might not come out to the United States, which is very upsetting. They might just be international only. Yeah. Um, but, but the pictures, at least, are cool. It's still a, fu it's a fuzzy, fuzzy picture. So this but. is the... Yeah, this is the best I could do. I'm sorry. Uh, Crystal Wishes should be the new um, set, like Zalicious and um, Crystal Gems. And they have... There's a few mermaids so far. and the, There's one other picture I have. I think this one looks like she's a genie. No. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Oh, I can't read it. Yeah, there's a lamp. Yeah. By the crystal wishes. But there's a. Is that two mermaids or one? One mermaid. The pink one is the mermaid. And then the other one looks more like a tropical. But it's kind of cool that it's not completely dead. Uh, there's at least. There's been one at least made from this picture, you know? Mm -hmm. And then just a little bit of Monster High news in this toy talk. Here is a picture of Shriekrek all together. So you got Laguna, Gil, um, uh, Draculaura. I don't know who the middle one is. Davy Jones. I forget oh, her name. Oh, yeah. I forget her name, but the daughter of Davy Jones. Claudine, uh, Katrine, and I think that is... Rochelle. Yeah. I, her hat is, like, crazy, and I like it. <laughs> Why do the guys 
not get as great a treatment as the girls. Look at Gil. I wish he was like a pirate too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would have been really cool. He's just in a swimsuit again. <laughs> Shorts and the tank top? Yes. The guys need the treatment too, I think. What do you guys cool think? Cool outfits, you know? Yeah. I agree. And then Mega Blocks, a new set. It uh, looks like Drink it, Dracula and Elizabeth. Um, that's pretty cool. Another picture of it. That's it for the Monster High news. Not too much today, uh, but we do have the Once Upon a Zombie. Um, there is going to be this huge six pack. Well, I don't know if this is coming to the States, but just to see they are still working on them and they still are going to come out. Yeah. Um, this was like a on the Once Upon a Zombie Facebook, it was for a show and Hong Kong or something. That's cool. A six pack. And then we do have some Ever After High news. There's some pictures of the pets. This looks like Darling's pet Chance. Then we have Raven's Dragon Nevermore. These look like they're gonna be pretty small. Apple's Fox Gala. Their heads apparently bobble. And then there's going to be a two-in-one magical fashion Ella. Ashlyn Ella. It looks like a fashion pack with a different outfit you can switch. Top kind of looks like it's made of plastic though. And they're going to come out with this huge castle school. It's pretty cool looking. Play set. Two in one castle. Interesting. Here's a look at the epic winter winter sparkalizer set. Glitter. Glitter over and over again. So there's going to be lots of glitter. And also, um, Maddie's pet Earl Grey is a tea uh, mouse with a teacup on its head. It's so cute. And they will also be continuing the line of the like the forest pixies with Epic Winter. Look, there's snow pixies. So the forest pixies are snow pixies. There's Fox Anne and Veronica. I think Fox Anne looks cute. I like the blue hair. What do you think? Mm -hmm. And here's a picture of the Epic Winter um, girls together. I do like the fur on them. It looks fuzzy and cute. But they all do have painted on leggings. Uh, this is just some pictures talk about exclusives or exclusives as far as we know. Well, the Poppy O'Hare is going to, pretty sure it's just Walmart exclusive. And she's actually showing up now. So start looking for her. Yeah, she comes with a dragon. With a baby dragon, her dragon. And the Dragon Games movie should premiere on Netflix towards the end of January, I think. Ooh, can't wait. Uh, now, I don't know if these will stay Target exclusive, but these next dolls um, are on are being found at Target. So it's a Star Darlings. So it's more like a basic doll, but it looks mm -hmm. like it still has a t articulation. Yeah, it's the Wish World fashion, and then Piper Starling, which she's a new character to be made into a doll. I like her colors. And then we have Cassie Starling. Again, a new character. I'm excited about that. I like her dress. And then this is Sage. This will be the second Sage in the Wish World fashion. 
and Scarlet in Wish World fashion. Another picture of Piper. And then some Project MC Squared dolls we're going to talk about. This is Michaela McAllister. That's a basic, I think. Yeah. Look at the back. It says on Netflix, so we got to check that out. Yeah. I don't know when, but we'll have to see. Cameron Coyle. I like her red hair. Oh, and her sweater with the dinosaurs on it is adorable. I this is cool. She has uh she has a, like lavender hair. She looks like a spy. These dolls, I think they're really pretty. I like the inset eyes and the lashes and their fashions. And just like the, the representation of steam. It's cool. I think they're really high quality and nice dolls. So she's adorable. So cute. And then this one. She has like this really wacky outfit on. It's pretty cool though. Like the Tetris pants. She looks like she's from the 80s with her fashion. I like it. <laughs> that picture is so funny. There's more pictures. I really like the red hair on her. It's so pretty. And the fact that some of them come with uh, little projects to do, I think that's really a cool concept. So, lastly, I think we have to talk about Disney Descendants. Some genie chic, which are being found now. And you have Jordan, that's all you have so far. Yeah. But there's Audrey in the genie chic line. I really like the outfits for the genie chic. There's lots of um, accessories with them, and I think they look really good. The shoes are cool. Actual leggings. <laughs> oh yeah, fabric leggings. Whoops. <laughs> and there's Mal. I'm really a fan of the fashion for Genie Chic. I think they look cool. All the different accessories. What do you think about the Genie Chic line? I like them. I, I want to find Freddy. Yeah, Freddy. Freddy! Those look cool. A new character again. So, Genie Chic had Jordan and Freddy. Two Not new Allie, characters. Though. Not yet. Nope. I love the gold dots on her face and her makeup and everything. So, I'm really looking forward to finding her. And that brings us to the end of this toy talk. Thank oh. you guys so much for watching. Wait. What? <laughs> Were we going to say we're thinking about... Q&A on the next episode. Oh, yeah. So if you guys have some things you want to talk about, like, that you want to hear about on future Toy Talks, you guys know a lot about dolls and toys coming up, too, so comment below. Uh, we'll try to take a couple for the next episode. Yeah, so leave your questions in the comments below, and we will do our best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed Toy Talk in this video, remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye!